You said that I could not invite Dwight because he was not part of a couple and because we didn't have enough wine glasses. Dwight brought glasses and a person. Fine. So, whatever you want. Just like always. Whatever you want. Whatever I want. It's never whatever I want. It's fine. When I wanted to see Stomp and you wanted to see Wicked, what did we see? We saw... We when I said that I wanted to have kids and you said that you wanted me to have a vasectomy, what did I do? And then, oh, when you said that you might want to have kids and I wasn't so sure, who had the vasectomy reversed? And then when you said you definitely didn't want to have kids, who had it reversed back? Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. I did. Okay. You have no idea the physical toll the three vasectomies have on a person. And I bought this condo to okay. fill with children. I am so sorry that I don't want to bring kids into this screwed up world, okay? I'm but look, too. if you want to have kids, then fine, you win. <laughs> Let's have a kid. Do you mean it? You want to have a kid? <sighs> so, can we come in? In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate but equally important groups. The police who investigate the crimes and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. I'm just a cleaning lady. Ah, oh, dead body! He wrapped his belt around his own neck. It looks like a classic case of autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, it looks like everybody's tightening their belts in this economy. Bum bum dum 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 dum. The last time you saw the victim, was he happy? Last time I saw this, John, he was, he wasn't a victim, if you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. No, that was just part, I'm just getting into the first act. That's the last of it. Oh, that's mine, actually. Um, maybe put it back in the truck. You know, Stan? You know, I have some things I need to do this weekend. I just remembered, so I'll just ride back with you. Uh -huh. But you want me to put it back in the truck? I'll be down in just a second. <clears throat> Holly? So, um... I think I'm gonna go back with Daryl. Did you forget something? What happened to you guys? Give it back. The gift basket. Give it back. What is this? It's real simple. If you don't appreciate what we do, then give us back our basket. Maybe you should leave. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe we should leave. Come on, let's leave. But before we leave, my wet friend and I are gonna wait for our cabs on your nice Couching. Can you call us a cab, please? I'm gonna, oh, sorry. Look, Look my clothes are so wet. wet. Nice leather. Oh, my shoes are so muddy. All right, here you go. Take it back. It's been opened. Yeah, it was mine. What's missing? The turtles. Where are the Summer turtles? Sausage. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? Where are they? Excuse me, I have an announcement to make. We seem to be missing a box of chocolate turtles with pecans, and we will not be leaving the premises until we obtain them. Hand over the turtles now! I ate them, okay? I ate the turtles. They're gone. We'll bill you. May I have your attention, please? This office will not be using any new technology ever, starting now. That is not correct. Ryan thinks that technology is the answer. Well, guess what? I just drove my car into a lake. You did what? I drove my car into a lake. Phyllis, how are those mittens coming? Because I would actually 
like to bring them home and pack them, and I'm leaving for the day at 4. They're almost done, but my knuckles are swelling a little. And well, power through the arthritis, Phyllis. You can do it. Is that it? Um, hmm? Is that it? Um, hmm. No. No. There's a special guest that I would like to invite to say one last goodbye. So here he comes. He's coming right in. Hi, everybody! It's Ping! Yes. And I'm here to say goodbye to all you wonderful people. Thank you, everybody! You've been so wonderful! Mm. We've had such a good... Mm. I love you all! I love you very much! Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. See you right now! So I've been meaning to tell you, I want to take you out for lunch for your last day. Oh. What do you think? Tomorrow? Lunch? You and me? Okay. You're not leaving tomorrow. You're leaving today, right? Maybe. Wow, so that's it, huh? Just four o'clock and you are gone for good. Why am I so sad? Am I doing the wrong thing? Absolutely not. It's just that sometimes goodbyes are a bitch. <laughs> T-shirt idea. Goodbye, stink. Okay. All right. So, James Halpert. You started with this company as a fine young man. You know what I think we should do? I think we should just say the goodbyes for tomorrow at lunch. Oh. Okay. And then tomorrow, I can tell you <clears throat> what a great boss you turned out to be. Best boss I ever had. Oh, shoot. That's my cab. All right. All right. Listen, Michael, I, I really... I did text Pam, but... I know. It's okay. <clears throat> Just give her a hug. All right? I will see you tomorrow at lunch. I am looking forward to lunch. And hearing about what a great boss I... <laughs> you got it. Brownies! I'm taking two so I can parcel them up and eat them at my leisure later on. Much healthier. You're taking two? Yeah, um, but one of them is for Tibby. Yeah. Why don't you send that to him in Costa Rica? Um, I'm just gonna hand it to him right now. <laughs> okay, weirdo. Why is that? Why is that weird? She said she's gonna give it to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably going to because they sit next to each other. Yeah, they used to. Toby works here again. Oh, can you imagine? Oh no. Oh. You don't know. I don't know. What? You should probably just meander back there. Take a look. See if hmm. he's. See if he's back. Dare I? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to. For old time's sake. Great practical joke, Jim. You got me to go to the annex. I'm like no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 And now, a man who deserves no introduction, Michael Scott. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. Great job. Some great laughs. Really, really went after my intelligence there. <clears throat> Dozens of online IQ tests might prove you wrong, but... And my thing isn't tiny, it's average, so get your facts straight. <clears throat> so when I heard that there was going to be a roast in my honor, I thought, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> I think I have a frog in my throat. Um, 
I decided to jot down some quick thoughts about you people. Um, first up, uh, Phyllis and Kevin. Uh, um, 